Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. It's another morning session. Isn't that wonderful? All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, get down to it, shall we? I just cleaned my bathroom with a bunch of harsh chemicals, so my, uh, my throat and voice are a little bit uh, inflamed right now. Last night was kind of a weird one, if you remember, um, because I was kind of like depressed through the whole thing. But I have some good news. Uh, I'm not really depressed right now. It was interesting. I had a dream, and I won't get into like specifics, but this dream made me like face some of the stuff that I've been dealing with, and it made me kind of confront it and go like, yeah, all right, it's time to like get over it. So I have more resolve now. Um, resolve to push forward, to practice this Bach, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push forward. All that's pretty vague, I know, but that's all you get right now. Yeah, so for today, I really want to focus on the Fugue. I think I might finish up the Adagio today, too. The Siciliana, I'm like halfway through it, and then we get to start the Presto. Man, my voice is like, I need to get like a respirator for when I clean. I'm developing a disease, I can tell. This isn't good. <laughs> My bathroom is clean though, I'll tell you what. Yeah, and I have a new video that I think I want to go into. I think I want to start the John Williams BBC video. You know, because we kind of learned about uh, Julian Bream and John Williams, the ping pong masters, uh, and they're like buddies, so we might as well go into John Williams, see what he has to say. So I think I'm ready to jump to that practice bench and bang out some Bach. So, let's do it. We're gonna get on to it. Let's go ahead and do that. Bach to the fugue. Bachy Bach, 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 Bach. See you on the other side. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, so my main priorities uh, this morning have been the second half of the fugue, and I almost finished the Siciliana. Like, I've almost read through the whole thing now. I spent quite a bit of time on that. I'm gonna play that for you next time. I think uh, this time I'm just gonna play the second half of the fugue. That's what you're getting. Here we go. I'm just gonna try to have fun with it and be expressive and all that. So this is pages three and four of the fugue. Enjoy. <laughs>
that was the second half of the fugue. Uh, there was like one little like blunder in there, but I didn't forget anything. Like it's all in the memory. Uh, all that needs now is just, I just need to perform it a whole bunch. Every time I practice it, I'm practicing it at like 45 BPM. Like that's pretty slow. All right, well, we can take a little bit of a break. I think it's been uh, enough time for the first half. I think this might be a new record for a uh, time in one session on the show. So, pretty cool. Ooh, my hands, uh, my fingers twitching a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, well, I have a video for us, so let's go ahead and get to that, shall we? I think now will be a good time to finally jump into the John Williams documentary. Hello, it's John W here. Williams, the guitar player. <laughs> John Williams is able to sort of enrapture you and wrap himself and the sound of the guitar around you. There's a joke in there somewhere. I'm gonna move on though. I'm gonna be mature for this one. Since he was about 11. I, uh, I recognize that voice. Who might that be? Complete enigma to me as a person. That's an old friend of the channel right there, Mr. Julian Bream. Look at you, man. Nice suit. But uh, that doesn't mean to say we don't- Is this just a Julian Bream documentary still? <laughs> I was voted something like 12th best electric guitarist, which is totally ridiculous. JW, what a man. <laughs> That's a theme with these guitarists, what a man. What a man that whoever was. He played electric guitar too. I guess him and Julian Bream, like, they just love their jazz. I wonder if John Williams is like rock though. Yes. John Williams, brilliant guitarist. You like to joke. I love it. And, you know, hopefully. I like to joke too. I don't know if I'm a brilliant guitarist though, unfortunately. One's lucky one can be good at something one loves doing. <laughs> My father was more or less responsible for the huge popularity in the mid 50s of the classical Spanish guitar, as opposed to all the other, you know, skiffle, pop, jazz, etc. Yeah, all that drivel. I've known John since he was about 11. I thought he was a, a remarkable player. But he'd been playing a long time. He'd been playing since six. He was taught beautifully, and, and his father was a very fine teacher, Len. The teacher, Mr. Williams, is a dedicated man. His method is strict. He stands no nonsense. Yes, that's very good. Don't hurry from, from one phrase to another. You see, you did this. My father was actually very uh, circumspect about uh, sort of exploiting me. That's good to hear. That's a recipe for a star right there. The roll guitarist can be turned out in 12 hours flat. The classical player must devote at least 12 solid years to patient study. You pays your money, and you takes your pick. So it takes 12 years, he said, of like diligent practice. What was it again? A rock and roll guitarist can be turned out in 12 hours flat. Oh, a rock and roll guitarist, he can make it in 12 hours. 12 hours, that, that sounds like the Ridley Method level of like time. Seeing yourself like from 50 years ago, I mean, I'm 74 now, is daunting to be honest, you know. It's like almost seeing someone else. Hey. Recognize that? Oh, it's so much better when he plays it. Oh my god. Please meet John Williams, thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh god. I suck. The fantastic John Williams. Of course, everybody knows that's Eric Clapton's father. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. John... Hey, it's this lady again. She was in the last one. Williams. She didn't sing in the last one. I had no idea she was like a performer. That's sick. These BBC documentaries are kind of like Bible stories that like all like intertwine together. Like you get different perspectives because it's all in the same time. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, let's move on. Oh, heck yeah. It's all this. It's all the same clips from the Julian Bream one, that's crazy. Julian Bream's wearing that same freaking car salesman shirt. I 
I certainly wanted us to play some duets because over a number of years, there were two camps. There was the Williams camp and the Breams camp. Which camp are we on? Once this series is done, I'm going to make a poll. Are you Williams or Bream? And I thought the best thing John and I could do were to play duets. Well, that would disperse. And it duly did. <laughs> With Julian, it was great because we're very different. We mutually respect that. It's better than being like two people who play the same. But we used to feel because we play differently, it gave it a real dynamic. You know, we'd have a phrase, we'd have to repeat it, and it would come out differently. It'd still be together, we hope. We were never a, a great duo. We were just rather good players who play well together. I liked the difference. God, the, the freaking, the ping pong. Why? It's just the same video. Well, you're no good playing table tennis without a bit of competition. And I like the spontaneity. Spontaneity is very... That's the same exact like overhand thing you did in the last one. Hey, you don't hurt your arm, man. All right, is this gonna go anywhere? I just love the opportunity of, of getting the guitar over, you know, and a popular music show on a Saturday night for a classical musician, so-called classical musician, to agree to go on it. I mean, it's extraordinary to think nowadays because no one would dream of saying it. Everyone sort of, if there was a show like that, they'd be sort of queuing up to try and get on it. One of the finest guitar players, ladies and gentlemen, in the world today, Mr. John Williams. I just thought, oh, what, a, what an opportunity, you know, to play to 18 million people live on a Saturday night. I know the feeling, man, when I play guitar on my YouTube channel. It honestly is hard. Every time I have to play, even just like what I just played for you, it, it does feel like a performance every time, which I think is good. It's making me better, I think. That's nice. Val loved the guitar. Oh, dude. The host is coming out with his own guitar, his own axe. Uh-oh. Yeehaw. You know, it is actually pretty cool. I do like it. <laughs> okay, I think that is an excellent place to leave this one off. Cool, I'm actually really enjoying this one. Uh, hopefully it's enjoyable for you. All right, after hearing him play my sore Mozart variations, I need to go practice that now. So let's go back to the piano bench. And just like that, we have a new video to start watching. That'll be exciting. Uh, something to look forward to. I'm not gonna go for too much longer because I've already gone for quite a while, but I'm just gonna brush up on my sore Mozart variations and we'll probably call it a day after that. I'll see you there. Okay, I think I'm done. So I've just been working on the uh, Mozart, Soar, Mozart, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm ready to call it a day. What time is it? Yeah, it's 12 o'clock. I'm done. I'm done for this morning. Not for the day, though, because I'll see you tonight. Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed all that. Yeah, and if you made it this far, be sure to, like, subscribe, like, leave a comment, um, ask a question if you want it answered in the beginning of the, the thing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, well, I'll see you tonight.